do that. I can't, we can't just say, oh, that sounds like a good idea. Yes, we're going to give you a contract. Let's do that. That's not how it works. It has to be an open public process. It has to be publicly bid. There's all kinds of reasons for that. So that that kind of thing, anybody who's coming in and saying, I had a better plan than that, well, then what you should have done was get a team together and participate in the process. You know, Archer Western, Mr. Kroger could have gotten a team together and participated in the process. They did not do that. Um, and so, while I appreciate, you know, I appreciate what they have to say, but that's that's important. The process is important because if you don't follow that that process, it's illegal. And those laws were put in place for a very good reason um, to prevent corruption. So bidding bidding on on city uh, projects, especially a fifty million dollar project, is not something that you can do through the paper or through lobbying council. It's something you have to do through a legal process. So, so I think that's really important to know. Um, and for me, it boils down to this. Um, first of all, I respect everybody. And the people that are saying, well, this will divide our city, that's kind of up to you. You know, um, how people act going forward, whatever happens today, will divide the city or bring it together. And that's an individual decision. Um, I will say that um, the baseball stadium was brought up a lot. And one of the things I remember is people saying, because I've been here a long time, as well, not as long as some people, but I've been here for, for almost my whole life. And a lot of people say it's a white elephant that will never have a baseball team, and that divides our city, so we don't want to go back to that. Well, the people who said it's a white elephant that will never will sit there empty and never have a baseball team, um, maybe they were wrong on that. <laughs> they were wrong. It's not a white elephant. It does have a baseball team. So. Um, Everybody needs to be respectful of everybody's opinions, in my, in my opinion. I'm going to be respectful. I'm not going to argue with people, but I'll, I'll just say this. I'll just close with this. Um, we have marine scientists. I'm not going to put their name out in public, but I will tell you that it's not hard to talk to a marine scientist in St. Petersburg. I've done that. We have engineers. That are some 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 within the city, some that were recommended, such as Archer Western. I've talked to them. I've talked to independent engineers. They nobody disagreed with the opinion of, of the city staff that the pier cannot be refurbished in a reasonable amount of money. Um, so it boils down to <coughs> people asking. Don't listen to the actual marine scientists when they say something straight out of their mouth. Listen to me. I will tell you what they mean. I will tell you what they say. And that's, as, as, a, as a decision maker, how do you do that? Um, you know, let me show you one thing, and then, and then I'm going to wrap. And I'll tell, you exactly where I, I'll tell you exactly where I stand, because that's just how I believe in doing. This is all the reports, including the peer advisory tasks for support, which some people have given me copies of it. Guess what? I read it in June of 2010 when it came out. This, this is all the different reports that have been issued, that have been all the studies that have been done. And like I said, out of that, I read it, I listened to staff, and then sometimes, and I listened to the public, and sometimes the public would say, well, that's not exactly right. I made phone calls to people involved in this and said, you, you know, I'm not going to say your name in public, but tell me, do you really stand by this? And I didn't hear a lot in here that concerned me. Um, so I think it's important um, that we come together. I, I respect, um, I'll say this, people said, um, I want to respond to this a little bit as well. The, uh, especially this week. It's been an interesting week to read the paper. And, and, you know, and I respect their right. They have their right. I love that we have the free press. Um, and they were very vocal and very free this week. Here's a reason. Here's a really good reason why we should have had our discussion that we had Monday. Why we should have had the vote to discuss a possible referendum. Clearly in the Peer Advisory Task Force report, and clearly common sense, and looking at other uh, facilities in the city like the Valley Museum will tell you, but the Peer Advisory Task Force said this as well, that for the peer to be successful, you have to have a combination. You have to have tourists come in to go to the peer, but you also have to have local support, and you're really not going to have the best peer you can have out the vote. So then to have a number of your citizens and the number, 
is, is going up every day. So, I'll, uh, you know, over 20,000 people sign a petition and say, we're having to have a discussion about that. I think that would have been a bad move, and I have no problems saying that I voted to have that discussion on Monday. I am clear that I, was, that I felt that was a good decision.